Hi, it's Alistair here at Matrix Technology Solutions Limited, and today we're talking about how you can use the Locktronics kits to teach electrical installation or domestic electrical at the UK levels one and two. For those that are not familiar with Locktronics, it's a simple concept. The user gets a baseboard and a tray of real life electrical components, and they learn from building real life electrical circuits. Each kit comes with a free set of lesson plans and teacher's notes to help with the delivery of certain topics. In this case, the topic is level one and level two electrical installation. Each kit comes with everything you need to complete a set of experiments outlined in the workbook. This includes the storage solution, the Lotronics components, the baseboard, any accessories you might need for certain experimentation and the relevant power supplies. Probably the most important part of the kit is the curriculum. This is freely available on the Matrix website. It includes the lesson plans, teacher's notes, student handouts, revision notes, and it's written by a practicing teacher. The curriculum worksheets come in a PDF format, so you can print it off, you can put it on your smart board, or you can put it on your VLE. It's a real time-saving tool for your teachers. We have designed these kits around the UK city and guilds and EAL qualifications. However, we do have teachers all around the world using these electrical installation kits for many different qualifications. After all, electricity is electricity at the end of the day. The first kit we offer at level one is the electrical installation level one kit. This kit assumes no prior knowledge of electricity and it covers basic things like electron flow theory, simple units of electrical measurement, how to use multimeters, the effects of an electric current, simple electrical calculations, AC and DC supplies and simple electrical circuits. At level 2 electrical installation we offer a level 2 kit. This kit develops and furthers the knowledge learnt at the level one kit and takes it to that next stage. It includes topics like principles of electricity, the principles of basic electrical circuits, electromagnetism, the operating principles of a range of electrical equipment, the principles of AC theory, and it also includes electrical safety and touches upon our new RCD and circuit breakers. Also at level two, we have another kit which is applicable. This kit is the electronic components and circuits pack. This kit includes a range of practical assignments which allows students to understand the operation of a range of commonly used components in both AC and DC circuits. The learning objectives here are operations of resistors, capacitors, thermistors, diodes, xenodiodes, phototransistors, transistors and triacs, and it also goes into AC and DC circuits including rectification, amplification, dimming, soft start, current limiting and light indicators and sensors. This experiment is something that you're likely to see in our level 1 kit for electrical installation. It basically shows you how electromagnetism works, a very tough thing to show in a classroom. You have a push to make switch which allows current to flow through when you click on it and a coil and a nail inside the coil. Watch what happens when I click on the push to make switch. The current flows through the coil and it pulls the nail in. The compass is now going straight for the coil and it's a great way of showing electromagnetism. This experiment is something else that you are likely to see in our level one electrical installation kit. It shows you how a fuse works. So the fuse here allows current to flow through when it has a conductor laying along the top like this. See the light turns on. Now in a fuse it is likely that you'd see something like wire wool allow the current to flow. Now watch what happens when I insert a short circuit into the circuit using this red lead. You put the wire wool on the fuse insert a short circuit and the fuse burns out. Now I like fire but in a classroom you would only use a couple of strands rather than a lot of wire wool. This next experiment shows you and students how they could potentially wire a staircase circuit. This is something that you might see a bit at level one and two. So you get a two way switch, you get an intermediate switch and you get another two way switch and then you wire them all together and you can now turn on that lamp at three different locations. 
something you might see in a staircase or a corridor and it's a great way of showing exactly how that works. The students can follow the circuit diagrams to see how the lamp can be turned on. So this is an experiment that you're likely to see at level two. It's all about electrical safety and how an RCD and a circuit breaker work together in a domestic setting. You have two lights that obviously show are, are on, something that you might see in the house. You have push to make switch here that simulates a leakage. The RCD senses if there's an imbalance in the circuit, whereas the circuit breaker measures if there's a short circuit in the circuit. If I click on the push to make switch to simulate an imbalance, watch what happens to the RCD. The RCD trips out and the fault light goes to red, but the circuit breaker doesn't trip out at all. If there's a short circuit, the circuit breaker will trip out, but the RCD will not. And it's just about how the two work in unison together. Thank you for watching. For more information about any of our electrical installation kits, please visit www.matrixtsl.com. Thank you.